kind of put it somewhere so you can <laughs> look at it. Yes, with your permission. Um, we are very fortunate today to have uh, Mr. G. V. Ramakrishna. Uh, he doesn't need much introduction, but I will go ahead and give you something that's very important for us to know. Uh, because he is going to bridge the gap we have between knowledge and governance. And uh, having said that, let me go through some housekeeping here. First of all, uh, most of you are here, I am happy. And a few of you uh, who have uh, computer crashes, not acceptable excuses. Uh, and uh, if any of your papers have been eaten by dogs or anything else, not acceptable. And also, if your main box is full, I would uh, start cleaning it out so you really would have this. Not to say that they are not efficient, they are extremely efficient. But uh, this is addressed to the very few. And so we are all going to pay attention to that so we don't miss out on anything. And uh, today I also want to thank all the people who participated in the questions, in pulling questions of uh, uh, students and giving it back to me, discussing it and so on. And we have paid a lot of attention to this. And I'm going to show something else now. Uh, this is a wonderful book, and, uh, which I have uh, ordered at the Resource Center. It's just been published by Academic, uh, Academic Foundation uh, in Delhi, uh, where you would find an extremely interesting account of the making of a uh, professional in the government, a diplomat, an internationally recognized uh, person of great merit, uh, a scholar, a bureaucrat, and a regulator of uh, governance in Indian context. So I would uh, expect that you browse it. But definitely, I want you to read the SEBI section, because we are going to devote one entire session in the coming weeks on SEBI as is written in this book because it gives a big vista of the knowledge we need and what is going on in the governance issue, to the governance issues, all of that we are going to pay attention to it. But just look for this very attractive book, it's very, very interesting. Definitely there's a very large portion of SEBI where Mr. Ramakrishna has served as uh, the chairman. So uh, I want to thank uh, everyone uh, here who has cooperated with this our academic administration, uh, Sanjay Sarkar, and uh, everyone in the, in the campus. Now let me introduce um, Mr. Ramakrishna. I had known him many, many, many years ago. I was fortunate and privileged. And I could even have been a colleague of him uh, in the government of India when I took off, uh, having kind of decided that I will come back some other time. Uh, but was not ready to assume great responsibilities. So I'm just working with you, which I regret deeply. And, uh, but however, we are here, we are reconnected. And one of the most uh, also significant thing is, uh, Lalita, his wife, uh, I was privileged to listen to his music many, many, many years ago, musicologist, a research scholar on what matters most about our heritage, and she's a writer, she's published many books. Currently, she is a research, uh, she is heading a research project at uh, the Stringeri Mutt, and she is uh, very privileged. I convinced her to accompany Mr. Ramakrishna. Thank you, Lalita, for coming. really comes from what other people are saying about you. Uh, one of the interesting phrases I found was, <coughs> redoubtable uh, chairman of SEBI. One, one introduction. Another one was, he upheld the best traditions of the service. Later on in governance, we'll come to talk about, uh, you know, you can, you can make uh, the various kinds of rules but the important thing is upholding it, enforcing it. Upholding it is done at the court level, and sometimes the regulator can do just as well. And 
and it's, it's also said of him that he had used subtle methods uh, of using the government institution for unconstitutional and political and bureaucratic ends. Now, from the sentence, I could quite make out when you uh, indulge in unconstitutional uh, government, uh, uh, political and bureaucratic ends to achieve by subtle methods, how uh, were you criticizing? No, I wouldn't say that they're unconstitutional, but certainly they had to serve a purpose without a rigid adherence to rules. Well, uh, I will uh, personally disagree with you later on. <laughs> and, but it's interesting. In other words, he says uh, regulations have been enforced, and if somebody is preventing it, you learn from them how to insist. That's what you're saying. Okay. And uh, the other thing is, um, and the same uh, write-up says he has done it very modestly and with a lot of sensitivity. And then he also makes another uh, controversial comment that there's something called coalition dharma in our uh, uh, coalitions in the central government that you bring in disparate, disparate elements opposed to each other on ideology, on principles, how to do things, methods of administration, everything. And I couldn't quite make out if you agree with the coalition dharma, or you're just explaining it. You probably will come to it later on. <coughs> this book is called uh, Written in Unusual Style. It's very interesting. It has caricatures, it has uh, personal photographs, and it has very lucid and nice writing. And as you have, you may have known in the last few sessions, I'm a sucker for literature. So it just pleases me so immensely to read this book. I'm not going to ask you because given the overload you all have, I would definitely expect you to read the SEBI thing. Much of what all of this I'm saying about the caricatures and so on are all of also present there. So this is a, an introduction I want to give. I'll add a few more things here, uh, which is important for us to know. His bio. Um, Mr. J.V. Ramakrishna has, um, uh, is a Padma Vibhushan, former member of Planning Commission, former chairman of Securities and Exchange uh, Board of India. This investment commission has been one of our rare and outstanding bureaucrats who is known for his sharp wit, blunt speech. I haven't found that yet. Uh, unimpeachable integrity. In his public career spanning two score and 20 years, also title of his memoirs, uh, a must read of those who want to know how much can be done by the power of one right thinking person. Mr. Ramakrishna has never hesitated to do, to do the right uh, thing, even if that cost him his coveted post. He also has a way of giving power to his post by the way he handled his job. In fact, he turned Sebi into a powerful watchdog even when he has a fraction of the powers he enjoys today. He talks about it later on. Uh, he also, among his careers, he's a scientist. Uh, you're a biochemist. Yeah. Yes. And uh, he's been at Harvard. Um, uh, we have been somewhat contemporaries. Uh, he uh, has um, uh, had other academic uh, interests and careers, so we are very pleased to have him here. Give him a big hand. Okay, the format of uh, this uh, session is unusual. Uh, at the request of Mr. Ramakrishna, he said, do not put me to give a lecture. Please, can you interview me? So I have accepted to that. And we have uh, several questions that the students have sent to me before, knowing that he was coming. We have looked into it and we have talked about it. I've chosen a few. No, I didn't choose. They chose it. And we are going to have it presented. So the first part of it would be my interview of him on the the broadest kind of things about SEBI, 
governance, and from his own background, how we may learn to bridge the gap between governance and information, governance and knowledge, and that kind of stuff. And following that, uh, you can interrupt at any point in time if you have a very important question. I know the session is being recorded, so it can be, as I want students to explain to me, uh, will be in a student publication, and you can do better than that. I would carry this with you so that when you become your uh, soon to become CEOs and CFOs, all of these people, so you will be in the same position as members of the board, and you know I've been in trouble. So you know we all want that. we don't want to get this problem. So all of that will come shortly. So with that, uh, if I could start conversing with you, so please pay attention. It's very far from where you are, and I would want you to close down all your emails, checking on some other things, and uh, you know having conversations with uh, with yourselves. So we pay attention to our distinguished visitors. And there will be quiz and there will be graded. Uh,